Hi guys, today I want you to talk about uh, about resistances, in particular about the tolerance system. How can you, can you take into account the tolerance effect in LT spice? So the worst will so the the first will be the worst case simulation. You can use the worst case simulation by importing this function here. Let's do the let's uh, let's do a let's design a voltage divider with 10 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms. Since the value are the same, you expect the output voltage to be half. Now use write dot op. You expect the output voltage to be half, so V out is equal to 5 volts. Now let's add first the worst case by using the function VC. Let's put the nominal value 10 kilo ohms and the tolerance 0 0.1. With 0 0.1, basically you are saying 10% tolerance. And now let's put it also here. So since it is a the worst case simulation, the worst case just take the only, as you can see in this part of the of the of, of the function, it basically takes the two possible worst case value. So you can you have to run the simulation for at least two over n where n is the number is the number of components so let's run the simulation for uh, you want also you to make to be sure you you want to run the simulation for 10 times 2 over n if the components are, la are large since the value will be randomly taken between these two values here so uh, you have to run the simulation greater than 2 or over n, 2 to the n. So, uh, let's write uh, dot step param run from 0 to, since uh, there are two components, time 10 times 4, 40 times and as an increment one should be enough uh, so the syntax is wrong should be enough let's run again the simulation should be enough to catch all the possible values so as you can see statistically I can have values randomly taken between, I have just two, three values in a divider, in a worst case simulation. It either can be 5 volts, so no tolerance taken into account, 5.5 volts, which is the worst possible case, or 4.5 volts, which, which uh, hypothetically will be, this resistor will be higher and this resistor here will be lower. But uh, this is a very extreme, a very extreme situation. So as you can see, if I just run the simulation for uh, four times, I have one, two, three, and four possible values. But because I was lucky, if I'm not lucky, as you can see here, I do not have all the possible values in this run. For this reason, you should run the simulation from 10 times uh, 2 over n. And this will be basically uh, enough for the, uh, for the worst case simulation. There is no need to export this data in, uh, in Excel. So let's move on the Monte Carlo approach. In the Monte Carlo approach, you need to run a lot of data to make sure that you have a Monte Carlo distribution. So uh, 40 times is not enough, actually. You have to increase this value by uh, 10, 10 hundreds, for instance. It will take some time, but uh, it will be worth the effort. So now this is, so as you can see, I'm running a lot of samples and statistically speaking, if I am making this divider in, in, in analog mass production, 
if these two resistances have actually 10% of tolerances, what can really happen in a mass production uh, in mass production circuits is that I, I can have a divider which sometimes can be 5.0, 5.1, 5.2, 5.4.8. .5 so for this reason it is uh, recommendable to put uh, uh, one percent tolerances since the difference in price is not too is not too high uh, so yeah in, in the uh, uh, while the simulation is running i will prepare the the gaussian distribution instead for the gaussian distribution you have just to uh, to write a function make like this 10 kilohms um, plus 10 kilohms times uh, Gaussian you have to insert the tolerances the tolerance so again 0 0.1 then you can put uh, over over 3 or over 4 and uh, this depends on how much probability you want to see the data if you put uh, times 4 so as I did here you are gonna see uh, if not mistaken 90% of the data so then 90% not of the data, sorry, 90% of probability of, uh, of the, which comprehends the main lobe and also part of the 34% of the side. Uh, so you want also to put this there. The simulation is almost finished. And... Uh, yeah, let's correct, let's correct the syntax. Should be correct. So I'm gonna stop the simulation at uh, 80 kilo samples. Should be enough. So now what you want to do is to export this data in Excel because you want actually to see what is going on in an histogram or in a distribution. So let's uh, um, let's click on oh my god let's click on file export data as text let's name a name which you can find for instance uh, test 2txt now let's search for test 2txt open file location this will be test 2 and let's uh, put this file here on on Excel. Let's select the first column and let's put the Instagram. So as you can see, this is uh, on on the x you have the actually the, the value of the voltage, and on the y axis you, you you have the repetition of the times in which uh, uh, this value occurs during the simulation. And uh, this is the this is the Monte Carlo distribution. You can just do some style and let's write Monte Carlo and let it spice. Uh, okay, that's good. Now let's do the same for the Gaussian. Let's cancel this and let's run the Gaussian not to form 10 kilohms, please, because I don't want to, to waste any more time. Just one kilo sample should be enough. I hope that it is enough to see a Gaussian distribution. I really hope so. It should be a less. Uh, it should be quite different from the Gaussian. Yes, as you can see, most of the data will enter in the uh, will enter in a in a reasonable value, and just very 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 few data are in the extreme worst case. So now you, you want really to export this again. Let's file again. Export data as a text. Let's call it uh, testfree.txt. Now let's go to testfree.txt. Open file location. Uh, I I would like to put uh, my test free in the same Excel as the other. Yeah, it will open other Excel because this is very dumb. So then now let's insert the histogram. Oh, so you see that there is a, a 
there is a bit of difference between this and the, oh, what is going on? There is a uh, there is a, a little bit of difference between the Monte Carlo and uh, the Gaussian distribution. So as the Monte Carlo goes on, you have a a slight different more at a triangular distribution. It is not on not exactly like Gaussian here, but you have a more tri tri triangular distribution. Here instead you have a you have a, um, a, a real Gaussian distribution. The ma the majority of the values are in the in, are in this uh, bell, are under this bell here, and uh, the tails are just less likely to happen. Instead here you have a uh, more or less uh, the same distribution also for the the side lobes in which you don't have here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. There is another reason I used the OP. Most of YouTubers will use the the uh, dot trans instead. Instead, I just wanted to show you that because uh, I think that this is a very common mistake. If you if you use the dot trans one femto, for instance, you're gonna see uh, uh, all these values here, which can be useful sometimes. So now you you are seeing that uh, in the in uh, one femtosecond uh, the DC voltage uh, will most likely to happen in this uh, uh, in this branch here, and less likely to happen in uh, in the worst case value, as you can see. But there is a there is a but there is a but yes, because if you okay let's uh, let's be into simulation. I just wanted to show you something. Okay, if you uh, if you try to export this data on on Excel, so let's uh, let's let's do the same again, and export the data as a text. Let's call it again uh, test four txt. I I want to show you something very interesting. If you wanted to do the same with this file here, you see that the you don't have a clean data as before. So before I had the number of runs and the and the output and the output voltage but so the histogram comes very very uh, um, uh, is uh, very straightforward because on the x axis you have uh, the value the uh, and the in the y axis you have the um, the occurrence of the value how many times the value occurred during your simulation but in this time you don't have a, a, a very clean data as you can see because it uh, it says step information run equal to one, and uh, and then uh, it says uh, how much uh, and says the the output voltage value. So if you would try to export this data on Excel, it isn't so. It it would be how can I say? Uh, it will be harder. Trust me to study. So what you want to do is if you, if you to if you want to analyze this data in Excel, it's better to use dot op if of course you need uh, if if you if you need to understand what is going on in a voltage in a, in a voltage divider that's it guys thank you for your attention and see you in the next video